gray van was rented by Marlene Monso with a Florida driver's license. The white van was rented by Robert Sennett with a Nevada license. Different names, same faces. They say everyone has a twin somewhere. Still adds up to a molehill of circumstantial evidence. I have buried people with less, and I'll bury them. Suppose my clients told you there was a third party, someone who planned this scheme. What kind of a deal would you make? Suppose they recited the Iliad. What are we talking about? You people never took a real look at Jason. Was that a dictate from Adam Schiff? Jason Bregman planned his own kidnapping? The old man expected him to work for a living. Jason felt it was unreasonable. He came to us. We didn't go to him. He begged you to shoot him? The boy wanted realism. A dramatic escape with a bullet in his shoulder. He said he was fine when we left him. We're ready to deal, Ben. You expect me to believe this? Yeah. Only if you listen to this. These people are serious. Please follow their instructions or it's over. They're going to kill me, okay? Wait, let's do it once more. Dad, it's Jason. I'm okay. These people are serious. Please follow their instructions or it's over. They're going to kill me, okay? Whatever lies in their stories about Jason, this can't be ignored. Jason claims he was bound and gagged for six days. He should have bruises, but the doctors who examined him found nothing. Yeah, bleeding to death in the rat hole was also part of his plan. That might have been Navarro and Watson's plan. Better two-way split than three. It's likely Jason was an accomplice up to the time the money was paid. Now, it's almost impossible to prove attempted murder without Jason's cooperation. So first I tell Saul Bregman that his son is a thief. And then I asked him to get the kid to cooperate. How would you work that, Counselor? I've listened to that tape. If those bastards had it, it proves that they're guilty. Am I right? Yes. But we're not sure of what. I saw my people think that Jason was involved, that there was no kidnapping. No, not Jason. I won't hear that. If I were you, I'd hire the best criminal attorney I could find. It's outrageous. My son was half dead when they found him. That's true. And if Jason will cooperate... How can you do this? We've been friends for over 30 years. You believe that scum over my son? Believe those lies? I don't know you, Adam. I don't know you at all. Wait. Let's do it once more. Dad, it's Jason. I'm OK. If you had a gun pointed at your head, you'd recite Hamlet backwards. They were ready to kill me. I had to make absolutely sure my father understood that. Mr. Bregman, in all my years of prosecution, you are possibly the stupidest criminal I've ever met. Let's go. I don't have to listen to this. Jason, sit down. Ben, I understand these lowlifes would say anything, but that you'd put any stock in their rantings is incomprehensible. Nick, you know as well as I do that a jury won't find that incomprehensible. Young man, with that tape, Watson and Navarro have an excellent defense for kidnapping and attempted murder. This is absurd. I never saw them until they shoved a gun in my face. If you want to play it that way, go ahead. But I can prosecute the three of you for grand larceny. Anytime you want to take this further, Mr. Stone, just give us a call. Squeeze the rock as hard as you want, Ben. It won't make the blood flow any faster. My client emphatically denies any involvement. Please, Jason, stop the lying. They're going to put you in prison. Young man, your own father doesn't believe you. What do you think a jury will do? A jury doesn't have any personal stake in this. For God's sake, Jason, I'm not trying to hurt you. 
I'm sure Watson put you up to it. Of course. Because you don't think I'm capable. Oh, we believe in your abilities, Jason. He nearly took your father for $5 million. And I would have if he hadn't called the police. Jason. That's why Watson turned on me. Thanks to you, I ended up flat on my face with a bullet next to my heart. I'm sorry, Mr. Stone. I can't listen to any more of this. Jason. Mr. Teller, is your client willing to discuss a plea? Larceny in the second degree in exchange for your testimony. 